Hello, my friends. Welcome to the weekly meditation. And today we are going to be focusing on patience. Being more patient with things. So inviting you now to close your eyes and taking some deep breaths down into the belly and feeling yourself dropping deeper and deeper inside and allowing now any worries, hi Helen, welcome, any worries or anxieties in the body and mind to drain away down through the floor and deep down into the earth. Just allowing yourself to really drop into a deep relaxation now. And starting with the body, bringing awareness to the body. Where can your body be more relaxed? Can the shoulders drop down? Just a little more. Can your jaw drop down? Just a little more. Can your arms and hands be just a little more relaxed? and your legs and your feet. The more your body relaxes, the more your mind is able to relax and the more your emotions are able to relax. So always start with the body. This is the easiest way to drop into relaxation. And as you come there now to that place deep inside yourself, to your center, two inches below the navel, and come into this moment which is now coming into the present and if the mind is busy just letting all those thoughts pass by they're only thoughts they are not reality they are thoughts so letting them pass by as you become the watcher, the witness of the mind. Disidentified from the thoughts. And coming into the reality of now, this moment now. The present moment is a vertical reality connecting heaven and earth, your soul with your body. The mind is horizontal, linear. You are coming to your vertical reality now, this moment, relaxing the body and breathing. The breathing is the bridge between the mind and the body. 
and when you are aware of your breathing system, it helps you to become more relaxed. And it helps relax the mind. And helps relax the emotions. Breathing, receiving, meditation is a receptive state. Receiving and allowing. and feeling the energy of infinite patience. As if you have all the time in the world for things to happen. The only part of you that is in a hurry is the mind. The mind is impatient, wanting everything to happen quickly and at high speed. But the body can't keep up with that. And if it tries, it'll get sick. And your feeling state also can't keep up with that high speed mind. So it serves you to understand the value of patience. Of being here now with what is and accepting what is. Even if you don't like what is, accepting that you don't like it. When you plant a seed in your garden, you can't hurry up the seed to grow into a rose bush. The seed will grow in its own timing into the rose bush. What you can do is water the seed, make sure it has enough sunlight, and that's it. And your inner being is like the seed. You are growing. And you are growing at the right timing for you. And so you have to trust. Trust 
the pace at which things are unfolding for you. Trust that all is well. Trust all your experiences, even if they were difficult experiences, trust that they happened. They make you who you are today. You are unique on this planet. There are no two rose bushes which are the same, exactly the same. They just always different. And we are the same. Essentially. But we grow into a beautiful flower which is unique to existence. And so you are perfect just the way you are right now. Don't be in a hurry to be your future self. You don't want to miss out on all the steps, on all the stages, because that is how you develop maturity and compassion from your experiences, good and bad. And as you become more and more to the point where you are going to flower and open up for the whole world to see, then people will benefit from your experiences, from your sharings. at just the right time for them and just the right time for you. We are all connected. We learn from each other. We are teachers for each other. We are all here to learn and to grow and to flower into our greatest creative expression. Watch the mind trying to speed things up and rush things. Allow things to unfold in their own time. They will bring you the maturity that will make you a powerful flower in the garden of existence. A person that can help many others. When you understand that things evolve in their own time just like the seed to the rose bush. All right, my friends. We've come to the end of our meditation for today. Just take a moment to open your eyes and come back into the room you are in and notice how you feel now. Do you feel more relaxed and at ease? 
Do you feel less identified with the mind? It's fine if you don't. Just be aware of it. There is no right or wrong in meditation. There is no good or bad. There is simply what is. In any given moment. And each moment has its own perfection. So enjoy your moments. And I thank you all for joining me live. And I love to hear from you when you've watched the replay. Please type replay into the comments. And let me know how you are doing. Let me know if this is helpful. And I will see you next week, same time, same place. And thank you, thank you, thank you for participating, for understanding the importance of meditation in your day-to-day -day life, for bringing your awareness to yourself. You're welcome, Helen. Helen feels beautiful, lovely, and relaxed. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. So these meditations are your opportunity to take that 10 or 15 minutes to be with yourself, to be connected to yourself. to help your body relax and your mind relax and understand the meaning of patience to help you with each day. All right, my friends, I'll see you again soon.